Okay, rade, rade, everyone. Hmm. <laughs> so we will continue reading. Book Saints of Bengal. Bengal no Seja no Hon des. By uh, OBL Kapoor. OBL Kapoor is no Hon des. It's uh, page 116, 116. Uh, we continue reading about Shri Radha Raman Charan Das Dev. So uh, we go to uh, Jagannath Temple in Puri. Puri no de no in Jagannath Temple in Puri, there were historic footprints of Sri Chaitanya. De koko wa eh, Jagannatha Jin desu. So ko ni wa Sri Chaitanya no rekisteki na ashiato ga nokotte imasu. On the slab of marble near Garuda Stamba. Garuda Stamba no soba no dairi seki desu. And uh, it was inside this this uh, pillar Garuda pillar. So, ano Jagannatha Jin no naka ni hai ruto Garuda no katachi no hashira ga tatte imasu. Was inside the temple of Jagannath. Jagannatha Jin no naka desu. And footprints of Chaitanya actually was printed in the stone while Sri Chaitanya was crying in ecstasy. Chaitanya ga koko tsu jyotai na atta toki ni namina o nagashita toki sono dairi seki ni ashiwata ga tsuita to iwaare teimasu. So his transcendental tears melted the stone under his feet. Chowetsu teki na namida ga kare no ashimoto ni atta ishi o tokashita no desu. And uh, uh, then uh, the feet sunk, <laughs> his feet sunk into the marble. Ashi ga dairi seki ni shizumimashita. Mm. So whenever uh, Lord Chaitanya saw Jagannath, he was crying and <laughs> making everything wet around him. Mm. Out of bliss. Mm. So now a little bit about this pillar, Garuda pillar. So they call it Garuda Stamba. Garuda Stamba to It is said that it's customary, uh, uh, normal, to have a pillar, pillar in the temple, uh, and on the top of pillar, there was Garuda, the no, carrier of Vishnu. No, eh, Garuda Vishnu no... Rade, Rade. Sorry, uh, sorry to interrupt. Gurudev is uh, requesting if Kishori Didi could translate in a, a separate room and make this uh, English-only oh. reading. Sorry. Uh, okay, we, we have one room. I try to separate the chair. And... Uh, um, yeah, we have one book. <laughs> you can take picture with phone. You can make the, and then if you have one book only, maybe you can take picture with a phone or tablet. Yeah. And read okay, I try. Sorry to disturb. I will, I will, no, I no, will no. talk Go. carefully. I will talk carefully. No, 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 no. I want to show you the instruction. Okay, okay, okay. So take a, I'm sorry. Like take a picture? Yeah, I, I will. Mm. So, Andagaji, could you say which page again? 116. Okay, thank you. Yeah, the bottom of page, last paragraph. Very sorry, give me yeah, one minute. This and this one also. 
Yeah, I need to set up my Aha, uh -huh, uh -huh. uh, Could you set the room again? Yes, yes. Thank you. Is it working? Set, it's set. Uh, Tota, are you do you hear Kishori? Could you hear Kishori? Are you fine? My voice is not disturbing. Ah, okay, okay, it's okay. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Arigato gozaimasu. Uh, okay. So a little bit. Uh, sorry, my voice is still coming. I need to keep more <laughs> somehow. A distance. Sorry, but we have no so much. Here. Okay, okay. So a little bit about this Garuda Stamba. Uh, it is here. The writer says. Uh, it's customary, it's uh, like a usual custom in Vishnu temples that uh, in front of any deities of Vishnu and his ex expansions like Jagannath. <laughs> uh, to have this Garuda pillar a high, it's a high pillar, and on the on the top of pillar there is Garuda, the carrier of Vishnu. Yeah. So when uh, Chaitanya used to visit Jagannath Temple, then he would go to this pillar and watch, have darshan from there. Mm. So now we continue with this uh, footprints in the marble slab. So uh, these sacred remains of footprints uh, used to be damaged by uncaring visitors that came so many visitors came in crowds in occasions from time to time to have a darshan of Lord Jagannath. So, uh, Barha Baba Radha Raman Charandas Dev, uh, he removed these footprints uh, under order of Raja of uh, Puri and uh, in the presence of Raj and officers 
they put this marble slab they put in the garden of Jagannath temple and then uh, they uh, made altar of white, white mar marble around made an altar independent altar separated altar and then they uh, established worship of the footprints of Mahaprabhu. Hmm. At that time, there was a boy, his name was Shital Das. And he came and uh, joined the party of Barha Babaji. Uh, and this boy, uh, Baba asked to do seva for these footprints. At that, at that time, Gora Charana Chakravarti was initiated by Babaji into sannyas. Uh, they call it Bek. Bek is the name of taking a ceremony of taking sannyas. So, Goracharan Chakravarti took back from Barha Baba. And in this ceremony, Sanyas ceremony, he became Govinda Das. And uh, this new Sanyasi, Govinda Das, uh, joined Barha Baba in his travels around where uh, Baba would uh, actually fight the impurity and sin of people uh, in Kali Yuga. Uh, next for next two years, Barha Baba stayed in Puri and then decided to go to Navadvip. So he started his uh, his journey to Navadvip on foot, and he took only four or five persons with him. and ordered other devotees to perform Sankirtan in front of Jagannath every day and do Seva for the footprints of Mahaprabhu. Baba went with his party for five men <laughs> dancing and singing all the way and preaching glories of Harinam, initiating people in the path of bhakti from village to village. When Baba came to Navadvip, he himself took back sannyas order from Sida Sri Gorahari Das Babaji, who was disciple of Sida Sri Jagannath Das Babaji. So Gora Haridas Babaji at the sannyas ceremony gave 
Barha Baba name Radha Ramana Charana Das. And now one very wonderful story. Uh, we will begin and next time <laughs> we will finish. One day, Babaji Mahashaya returned from Mahaprabhu's temple while he was performing kirtan with his party. And then one female dog came and joined the Sankirtan procession. So whenever Sankirtan party stopped at some places and then proceeded further singing Sankirtan, in a, like a madman they were singing. <laughs> so every time when they stopped at places, this female dog would stop also. And then when party moved on, the dog would roll in the dust of devotees. just as the devotees would roll in dust of other devotees. And uh, that day Sankirtan party was singing for hours and this female dog decided just stayed with the Sankirtan party. And whenever party, Sankirtan party stopped and moved on, she would roll in the dust of Vaishnavas. <laughs> then they arrived at uh, their place and uh, the, the dog decided to stay. And she became like a member of Temple of their Sankirtan Park. <laughs> and she would go around with them. So the days the day went on and she got the name. Devotees called her Bhakti Ma. <laughs> After some time, devotees noticed that day by day she was use, she was losing her strength. And then one day she was too weak to stand up. And uh, devotees uh, uh, actually didn't, uh, devotees decided to have kirtan for her. And they sang kirtan for some time. Uh, they were all aware that she will uh, leave her body so they were all praying to the Lord for for the mercy upon her soul and in this way she left her body surrounded by Sankirtan party Mm. So she passed away 
with the Lord's name in her ears. And then devotees took her body and uh, put her body in Ganga. Uh, so, as for any human being, devotees decided to do Chira Mahotsava funeral ceremony as usually done when devotee leaves his or her body on the fourth day after her departure. And Babaji Mahashaya said, it's proper to feed devotees, to feed Vaishnavas. And in this way, get the blessings of Vaishnavas so that her soul can go happily back home to the land of bliss. <laughs> So, uh, also the festival was held on the 14th day after uh, Bhakti Ma departure. And then Babaji Mahashaya said, well, it would actually be most proper to feed her dog friends to make a feast for her dog friends <laughs> mm. so now in japan is 10 pm past so we will stop here and then next time we will read about this what happened next? <laughs>